Hey everyone, a couple of videos ago I'd say that I'd make a small video on this cube. Now this is a Z-Ghost cube, you can buy it from the cubicle for 23 US dollars and as of now it is not on speedcube.com.au. So this is a normal ghost cube, as you can see, you can just put it on an off axis and it functions like a normal 3x3 as a ghost cube would, but it has different colored stickers. Unlike normal ghost cubes, which either have the same colored stickers on all pieces, or they would have uh, no stickers at all. Now, Maxine lent me this cube because um, she noticed that even in its solved state, it looks scrambled. So she was, gave it to me, um, or lent it to me, sorry, and asked me to see if there's another state where all the sides are the same color. Now I have come to the conclusion that that is not possible. I'll be making a blog post on why I think that, and please check that out. I'll link it into I'll link it to the description when I have written that. But I do not believe that there is a state where all the stickers or all, all the sides are on the same um, or, or the, all the same color. Now it definitely cannot be cubic because every single piece is a different shape. So you can't have another cubic shape with a different arrangement of pieces. And um, as I said, I'll get more in depth into it on my blog post uh, on why I think so, but please check that out. For a small review, I'm really liking the Ghost Cube. This is the first time that I've ever um, held a Ghost Cube and tried to use a Ghost Cube. Took a little getting used to because of the off-axis 3x3. But after a little bit of practice and watching a YouTube video to get me started, I um, I figured out that it isn't as hard as I originally thought. I've never been quite good with shape-shifting puzzles. Uh, I often struggle to solve cubes like mirror blocks, and I thought that I was never going to be able to solve this, but I eventually did. Um, I've solved it three or four times now, and there was a little bit of issue where this center was rotated 90 degrees. And I know that's impossible for a 3x3, three three. it's an impossible case, but I thought that I just had a couple pieces around the wrong way, but no, I actually have to disassemble this top layer and reassemble it to be solved. And now I can um, consistently solve it, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm definitely not going to be speed solving this, it takes me, I'd say about 5, five to 10 minutes to solve this, which is actually less than I initially thought it um, I will take, but my first solve took quite a few days, maybe four or five days. But again, I had the issue with the top center, and once I fixed that, everything was fine. With the stickers, I actually think the stickers make it easier to solve this cube rather than a regular ghost cube. As an example, or to show you what I mean, let's look at a few things. Let's look at these pieces. This is a triangle and a triangle. And they're both the same sticker and the same kind of shape, but there's another triangle or two more triangles up here that have different stickers. When I solve this cube, I solve this bottom layer first, so I know that on either side of this one, you have these two like wing pieces is what I kind of think of them as, and I know that the gray one goes on the left and the pink one goes on the right. That helps me differentiate between those two. And then I know that for these two last centers, uh, corners, sorry, they are both green, and the yellow or orange, depends what you want to call it, and the orange and pink one are on the top. And I can see that this one is a little bigger than this one. And then I put in these, I just fiddle around with those until they go in. And then I put in the top things, and I know another flat piece with two wing pieces, similar to... Um, this one here, so flat piece of two wing pieces. So I've got flat piece, so two wing pieces, and green and orange. And then on this side, with this long piece, I've got the pink and orange. And I can also differentiate this piece by um, from this piece because this is pink and orange, and this is brown and orange or gray and orange. So the stickers do actually help me solve it, and it would make my times a lot faster than what, I, than what they would be because I could probably differentiate between everything except for these four corners here. These four triangle corners would be really annoying for me to try and figure out. 
So I'd like to give a shout out to speedcube.com.au and Maxine for letting me test this. It's been heaps of fun. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to go soon and give this back because she was only lending it to me. I'll be writing detailed blogs about this. I've got one that I'm currently writing that would be hopefully up by the time this video is uploaded. So that will be in the description. And a third one going over why I, um, or my maths over why I don't think there's a solved state with each um, side the same color. So thanks for watching. This is definitely a something to get. It turns really well, as you can see there. Um, it does corner cut a little, so it isn't really stiff. Um, and I think this is a really nice cube to get, something for your collection, or if you like ghost cubes, this um, then this is definitely one, as I, well, as I said, to put in your collection. Uh, I believe everyone should learn how to solve a ghost cube because it's heaps of fun, and you start to understand um, shape-shifting puzzles a lot more. I think that thanks to playing around this puzzle, I understand how shape-shifting puzzles work a lot better, and I'll be able to hopefully do them more, um, a lot more consistently. So thanks for watching my video. As I said, I'll be writing blog posts on this. I'll be linking them in the description, so please check them out. They'll be awesome. And please like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. I will see you in my next video.